This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new speed build. Today I have a crystal apartment for you guys and I'm so excited to share this because it is my first build with the new stuff pack, The Sims 4 Crystal Creations, which we got yesterday, I believe. Um, if <laughs> if this goes up when it's supposed to and I believe it is so yeah we got it yesterday and I was able to get early access from the Creator Network which thank you so much to the Creator Network for that um so I have had this stuff pack since Tuesday um and I built this like as soon as I got my hands on the pack I built this apartment because I am so excited about this stuff pack I know not everyone has been like super excited about it but I am one of the people that is like super, super, super excited about it. So um, I of course wanted to build something with this new uh, pack because it is me and that is my entire channel. Like I build, <laughs> that's what I do. So I was kind of thinking about like what I could build and stuff like that. And I decided to build an apartment instead of a house, um, not only so I could get this up like today. Also, sorry if you heard that. There was a car going very loudly outside my room. I am so sorry. Um, but I, yeah, I decided to build a apartment instead of like a regular like family home because it is quicker so you could you would get this sooner um but also because i wasn't 100 percent sure what i would build what type of house i was thinking probably maybe like a like spellcaster's home or something like that because this stuff pack goes very well with the whole like realm of magic thing um but i decided to again just make an apartment so this apartment does not have like any magical things in it um don't worry but yeah i decided to make this apartment and i am so so happy with how it turned out like i had so much fun doing this apartment and just um putting all the new objects in and just like seeing how the objects go with like the rest of the game and like other packs and stuff like that and i just I love it so much. Um, I am not just saying this because I am part of the Acre Network. Like, I do not have to say that I love this pack. Like, if I had any, like, criticism, I would say it. But I personally love this pack so much. And I think a huge part of it is um, that this is very much my style. Like, this entire pack is very, like, there's... It's centered around, like, obviously crystals, but also, like, moons and, like... I don't know, I, I talked about it last week, but like Wicca, if you know what Wicca is, but like it's kind of centered around like Wicca stuff and I don't know, just that type of like aesthetic and that is my entire aesthetic, like IRL, like my entire room is like that. So this was very fun to build. It was very much like a comfort zone for me. I had so much fun with it. Um, although like, yes, it is a comfort zone for me, but you have never seen me do anything like this, I think, because I don't tend to build a lot of the stuff about like with this in this style <laughs> i know how to talk um but yeah i don't really build a lot in this style like in the sims but like irl this is my stuff so like it was a comfort zone but also not comfort zone because i don't do this in sims but i do this irl so it was it was fun um and yeah so i decided to start off with the living room and in the living room i knew that i wanted to use these new bookshelves because i am in love i'm going to be using these bookshelves all the time so we have two variants of the new bookshelf we have one that is kind of just like a normal bookshelf <laughs> and then we have another one which i love because it has a ladder and like there's some books like on the steps of the ladder and i just i love it so much i have talked about before how i i am a book lover like i read a lot i love books um and i just i love this so much i have been wanting a bookshelf with a ladder in the game for so long um a couple of weeks ago i built a neutral um mid-century modern home and in that i kind of like made my own kind of ladder for a bookshelf well okay i know i didn't make the ladder but like i put a debug ladder that we have um on a bookshelf to kind of make it look like it had a ladder i've said the word ladder so many times i don't even know what it means anymore um but yeah i kind of did that in that build and i remember when i was building that that i was just like so like i just wanted to have a bookshelf with a ladder in the game and now we do and i'm so i, I love it so much i'm going to be using it all the time um and that kind of also set the tone for the entire apartment like not only is this like very again like moon themed crystal themed and like you know all of that but it also is a little bit like old-fashioned in a way um that is kind of where like i part my ways with um like how 
I like this, like how I'm, how my style is like this IRL, if that makes sense. I'm struggling with my words so much, I'm so sorry. Um, because like IRL, I'm not, I don't really like the like whole like old school thing or like vintage kind of stuff. Like, well, don't get me wrong, I do, but like it's not, I don't know, per se what I have in my room, if that makes sense. Um, but just with like some of the furniture pieces that we got from this um, stuff pack, it made a little bit more sense to go that little bit more like old school route, um, like the bookshelf and um, the like coffee table also had, they have some like beautiful, um, like the wood, they have some beautiful just wood details and I don't know, it made me think a little bit more old school and yeah, I love it so much. So this apartment ends up having like a little bit more of an old school feel, but like not like super old school. I don't know. I would love to live in this apartment though. Like I would absolutely love to. Um, but yeah, speaking of the coffee table, I did use the, um, the coffee table as well. I tried to use as many objects from the new stuff pack as possible. I didn't use all of them, but I did use a fair amount. So like in the living room, for example, like there is, like I said, the bookshelves and um, I used some of the new like paintings and I used the coffee table and I used the new couch. We have like a new love seat and I wanted to use that, but I wasn't sure like what like three seater sofa I was gonna use um, with it because we didn't like we just got a love seat and we didn't get a um, armchair either so I was struggling a little bit to like figure out what to use um, but I paired it with the um, growing together sofa I'm pretty sure and it worked out very well um, you will see when I was building this I went with the um, kind of like creamy color that has some like blue um, like cushions and stuff like that but or pillows and then I switched that actually when I was doing the screenshots to the same like kind of creamy swatch but it has like some more like red pillows and cushions and whatever um because I just felt like it went better with the whole with with the whole room um but yeah I don't know I think they worked very well together I don't know why but I think that the kind of the creamy swatch the again that I went for it worked very well um and I obviously wanted to use the new like the whole thing with this pack is, of course, that you can make your own jewelry and stuff like that. So I wanted to use that, like, um, work table thing. I don't know what to call it. Like, it's, it's like a table, like a workbench table where you can make jewelry and, like, do things with crystals and I don't know. Should I know this? Probably. Do I? No. Um, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, there ends up being an office in this apartment. Like this apartment is for uh, one or two Sims and there's also an office. So like if you want to have this apartment, but like at maybe like, I don't know, like a second bedroom, you can make the office into a second bedroom if you want to. Uh, but then you kind of lose the like whole like I don't know, jewelry making thing. Um, so I put that like crafting table in there and I used the new desk in there and the bookshelves in there as well. And um, also the new rug. I am in love with the new rug. I'm going to be using it so much. It comes in some like, I don't know, pretty generic swatches as well. Like there's some cream swatches and like some darker swatches and I just love it so much. It's so pretty. Um, and I, don't, I just, I love it so much. It's so pretty um and then i also in the bedroom i used the new wallpaper because we got a beautiful new wallpaper um that has these like moons on it and stuff like that and when i was doing the wallpapering for this build um for this build for this apartment you would see i cut it out um but it took me a hot minute because i knew i wanted to use that wallpaper in the bedroom because don't get me wrong i love the wallpaper but i for like generic living spaces, if that makes sense, I like to have, I don't know, like a more like monotone wallpaper, if that makes sense. Uh, but then like in bedrooms and stuff like that, like I can use, I don't know, a little bit more like patterns. So again, I knew I wanted to use the new wallpaper in the um, bedroom. And then I used the wallpaper that we got from the Paranormal Stuff Pack, which works very well with this stuff pack, by the way. Like the Paranormal Stuff Pack, the um, Crystal Creations one, and I feel like the Realm of Magic, they really like go hand in hand. They work very well together. Um, and I wanted to use the Paranormal Stuff Pack um, wallpaper that has these like flowers on it and stuff like that. Like I just, I love that wallpaper so much. It's probably like one of my favorite wallpapers we have in the game. I don't use it too often but I do love it um but I, w I wanted to use that so I used that in the office and then I was a little bit unsure of like what other wallpapers to use I ended up going with a base game one for like the rest of the apartment but I do end up doing like off cam I put the 
again, the paranormal stuff pack wallpaper uh, behind like the TV and like that wall because I don't know, I just feel like it added a little bit more to the living space. But yeah, I only used the new wallpaper in the bedroom because I, I don't know, I just, I felt like it was too much to use it somewhere else. Um, I also used the, um, like, in the bathroom and in the kitchen, I used the tiling that we got with the um, Home Chef Hustle stuff pack, and I used it in this, like, darker swatch, and I love it. I feel like it fitted into this so so well i love the bathroom which is so weird because like i feel like bathrooms are not normally something that like i love that i am doing like don't get me wrong like i like making bathrooms but like i feel like normally my favorite part of like a house is maybe like a bedroom or like, i don't know like a living room or something like that but i love 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 the uh, bathroom and i don't know why i again i used the tiling from home ship hustle and i think i paired it with um, a, like, floor tile that we got from the high school year expansion pack, I think, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's from, and it just worked so well together, and I just, I don't know, I just I love the bathroom so much, and overall, I just love this apartment, because I feel like, again, it's very much something I would like myself and it's just something I haven't really done before but it's I, don't know, I just I love it so much it's cozy it's cute it's um kind of a little bit like dark and I love that and again just I don't know I'm I don't know I just I love this stuff pack so much like if you like building and if you like I don't know I was gonna say building in this style but I don't know how often you would build in this style but if you like building I would recommend getting this because it has some like really good and versatile things like I am going to be using the couch in like or the love seat in like different types of builds not just like I don't know this type of build like I'm gonna be using it in other builds and we got a lot of like shelves and we got some um like I don't know like cabinets and stuff like that you can use like all over the place I used the cabinet in the um kitchen that is from this pack and then um in the office above the kind of again like jewelry making station desk thingy i don't i don't know what to call it but above that i um used a couple of shelves that we got with this um stuff back as well and like the desk i'm gonna be using all the time again the bookshelf i'm gonna be using all the time so i'm gonna be using this pack a lot and so if you like building i would recommend getting it if you can um i am also hosting a giveaway by the way for this stuff pack on my twitter um which is i think it finishes like the last day to enter is march 5th so yeah, if you want a chance to win this stuff pack, you can go over there um, and it's super easy. Like you just have to retweet and like and comment and then that's it. Um, and then you would have a chance to win this. But yeah, I don't know. I just love this so much. I think it's so, I don't know, versatile and stuff like that. There's also this like wall decoration, um, which this is really random, but like there's this wall decoration um, that has some like tools let's say i think they're meant to like look like i don't know like jewelry making tools like there's a hammer kind of and stuff like that don't i don't know the technical names i am so sorry i am not really like a handy person i do not know the technical names i would maybe know them um if they're like in swedish and not english but i do not know them in english uh but i think there's like a hammer and stuff like that and you can see me again i used it in the um office area but I am going to be using that in like a lot of different like garages and stuff like that because it is just so, I don't know, versatile. Again, like it doesn't look like specifically jewelry making things. It just look like tools. I don't know that you would use for whatever. So I don't know. I just, I really like that. And also, oh my God, how could I forget this? Two of my favorite items in this entire pack. The, the new like lamp that we have, we have a new standing lamp is beautiful. I used it like three times. <laughs> in this build um or in this apartment it's so so beautiful i love it so much it's this kind of again like old school one it's kind of like a smaller one it looks so good um we also have a like i don't know like a smaller lamp that you would have like on a desk we also have that that's kind of like an oil lamp i think and i used that in the um entryway i'm pretty sure but then my other favorite object the new plant we all know that I am. I love plants. Like, I put plants everywhere. An empty corner, put a plant. Like, that's just what you do, right? This new plant, it's so beautiful. I'm going to be using it in, like, every single build. It has these, like, um, it's kind of, like, a, a little bit, it's, it's a small plant, but it's kind of, like, wide. I don't know if that makes sense. I used it in the living room, and I also used it in the bedroom, I believe. Um, but, like, 
it has this like beautifully it's just a green plant and it has like a kind of like woven ish like base it's so pretty i love it so much and it has some beautiful colors like in general the color scheme that this entire pack is in i am a big fan of because it has all the basic colors like it has a dark brown a medium brown a lighter like wood tone it has white black like it has all of them so you can use them in like any type of setting because they have like all the basics which is so good like i love that the sims team i've started to do that because i think for a while they would do like different wood tones for different packs so things didn't match and i think they listened to the community because we all hated that so much but they fixed it for us and i'm so happy because it looks so good and i just ah, i'm gonna be using this pack so much um i don't know i just i love it so much um but yeah i i wonder like what other like packs i use mostly in this build i obviously used a lot from the new pack like obviously that is kind of the whole point with this um and then again like the paranormal stuff pack the realm of magic one um i also used a lot from like the for rent expansion pack because it worked very well um like the bed i use in the bedroom is the for rent bed and then um like in the entryway i use this uh i don't know how to explain it but it's kind of this like side table it also has like a mirror on it and it's kind of in this like half octonal hexagonal shape if that makes sense and i just when i was doing the entryway i looked through like the catalog like I don't know side tables and stuff like that and i saw that and i was like oh my god it's perfect i love it so much and we got that with the forint expansion pack and i don't know why i just feel like it fits so well into this build but i don't know it just does for me i don't know if that's just me but i love it so much it's so pretty um and then just in general i used a lot of like i used a lot of different packs this is not pack limited at all um and all the packs will be listed down below but yeah, I don't know. I just, I loved it so much. I also used the foreign like, cabinets and counters in the kitchen. So, a lot of from the foreign expansion pack, actually. Um, now that I think of it. But, yeah. I don't know. I just, I love it so much. Like, this entire apartment, I love so much. I think it's, like, one of my favorites. Um, this wasn't going to go into my save file because I built this in um 18 culpepper house which i have already built here once before on the channel and like i was gonna have that apartment in my save file but i love this apartment more so i think i'm gonna actually have this one <laughs> because i just love this so much and i built the other one like a, a while ago so it's i don't know i feel like i could do it better now and then i built this and i just i love it so much um and also i wanted to mention <laughs> by the way um you might see that the ui in like the top right corner is a little bit messed up and that is just because again i got this um stuff pack on tuesday because of, of um, the whole ea creator network thing um also i feel like i voice cracked when i said tuesday <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm sick um as i always am but um yeah i got it on tuesday and all the mods haven't hadn't been like updated for the patch that we also got on tuesday which and i'm not gonna comment on it but like a lot of people are mad about it which is very fair uh but yeah it messed up the ui a little bit and i still wanted to have like the tool mod and stuff like that in um when i was building this so uh, i wouldn't recommend doing that because sometimes mods can like break your game if they're outdated with the like game version you have i have never had that problem thankfully but i know some other people have so be careful do it at your own risk but yeah i still had my mods in when i was building this so that's why the ui looks a little bit weird in the top right corner um i don't worry like i was still able to like save my game and, like do stuff like that because i just know where things are like off by heart at this point but yeah i wouldn't recommend doing that i definitely would not but again i wanted to use the tool mod because like i can't build without the tool mod like i love that tool like the mod so much um and i also like the better build and buy mod and like stuff like that so yeah i think most of those have been updated now thank god but yeah it, it broke my game for a little bit and i wanted to like build this as quickly as possible so i would get this out for you on like a timely manner and not get this out like i don't know later this weekend or anything like that so yeah um anyways we are almost done with the video which is kind of sad i am not used to doing like short videos anymore <laughs> i'm used to having like 40 minute videos um but yeah i also um use a lot of things from the um 
what's it called the modern luxe kit like in the living room i used like the pillows from that kit and then i also used the like chair that we got from that i think at least in the bedroom um also i wanted to mention <laughs> I put fairy lights all over the apartment, which if you've been here before, you will know that that's very much a Mal thing to do. Like, I do that all the time. If this is your first video here, hi, I'm Mal. I love plants and fairy lights. <laughs> I put fairy lights all over the place. And in this build, I used the ones that came with the, um, the free, like, holiday pack that we have. If you know, you know, it's a free, like, addition to the game that you can get. Um, and it has these, like, beautiful fairy lights. And I feel like they fitted this apartment very, very well. And since this apartment is with the medium wall height, I felt like the top of the walls often look very empty. And we all know that I do not like empty spaces. So I decided to fill it up mostly with just, like, fairy lights. But I think it kind of added to the whole thing. Again, like, in my room I have tapestries of moons and tarot cards and like all of that and I have literal tarot cards over my walls. I have bookshelves with like fairy lights on them. I have fairy lights everywhere. Um, like <laughs> I have very much like that type of aesthetic of a room which kind of made it into this build or this apartment. So this is just like, this is just what I would want. If I could, if I could build like my dream apartment, maybe this would be it. Um, again, maybe not with such old school stuff and the office would be more like a gaming room, but otherwise I really do like it. Um, because it's very much like my, my type of thing. Um, let me know what you guys think of this pack. If you are getting it, if you have got it, if you like it, if you're not getting it and why you're not getting it, like, I don't know. I want to know. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video, and I really hope you liked it. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!